Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I will speak about the bootstrap view and how I can use the button toolbar in the, in the bootstrap view. And you can use it, to, normally you think about the, the toolbar like it's a top navigation or something like that. But when we're speaking about the buttons, it's something like when you when you need to create a pagination, you can have the next in the in the own group in the toolbar, and then you can have all the numbers in the middle, and then the uh, previous in in the right or left corner, it depends on your, yourself. So the toolbar, it's like the button groups um, where you can put a button groups inside a button toolbar, where you can have buttons inside the button groups. If it sounds confusing, it is not. But I will show how uh, you can work with that. And I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. And before we are starting to type some uh, any code, I will ask you to subscribe this channel if you will support me and get new videos every time I uh, publish out. And of course, I uh, will ask you about to like this video, share it with your friends, and add it with your play playlist. So now I have asked you. Now it's up to you. And thank you to stay here to uh, with me today. And uh, let's type some code. The first we want to, to create will be a pagination for like a, if, if you build a block, block. So that's what we want to, to do right now. So let's uh, create the first here, say B uh, toolbar, button, sorry, button, toolbar. And when you have the construct about the, the button toolbar, we need to build the button group, button group here. And in my case, in this video, I'll create whoops, three groups. So you can see we have the button toolbar. Inside the button toolbar, we, we got the button groups. Inside the button groups, we will create a button. If you don't know about the buttons and how the, the button groups work, you can see one of my other videos about Bootstrap View. Uh, I will have um, where well, I'll explain about everything about the button. In the other video, I'll explain everything about the, the button groups. So I will not fix this right now. So in this, I want uh, I want to create this one. That's just the hex. Uh, and that's the errors. Yeah, now nah, I think it's a unique code. I cannot remember what this is, but it's old fashioned. Back in the the 2000, the beginning of 2000, when I'm starting to, to develop the first uh, website, I'm starting learning HTML and this kind of stuff where you're using for copyright is uh, all we need because it's so amazing that's time. Now we have all the nice icons from, uh, from the Fund Awesome and Metro de uh, icons, Metro Designs from uh, Google Designs, and we have so much, uh, many options. Uh, to, to choose between. But back in the beginning of the 2000, we just have jQuery and all of the nice uh, Unicode tags here. And then we have the number two, three, and then we got one more button here. And I will just say, and then we need one more. And then I just save it, and you can see it when we're going back to the browser here. And see, we have the group here. Um, I will make a little bit. Uh, I'll make a little bit space. We can say, margin left two and margin right uh, two, and then it should be fixed the problem here for us. And it does. You can see we have the pages here. You can we have the groups, so we have the smooth. Nice design here from Bootstrap, and that's what the toolbar is. And of course, we can create other stuff with the toolbar. We can uh, put inside uh, input if you want. So if you have some like uh, save and cancel button, if you have some prices or something like that, we can do this. So that's what I want to to show you how we can work with uh, with that right now. So let's go back for data. And I'll just do this. And uh, we want to build a, a new button group, of course, button toolbar. And inside that, we need a B 
input group. We don't have learned about that yet, so I'll not explain so much. I'll just build it so you can, you can see it. Um, but I will create a video about uh, how the input group will work. So if you see this video, maybe the input group will be published. Maybe you're one of the first to watch this video, so it will not be published. Just look on the playlist and see you can find if you don't know. Uh, uh, understand how the input group working and you want to learn more about it. Then we want to build a button group here. And inside the button group, we want uh, the button, of course. And I will just call one for save and one for cancel. Let's put some nice color for it. Whoops, wrong variant is equal to danger and save variant should be six sheets and margin margin right should be two. So we will have in a, a little bit space between those two buttons. And um, I'll just say this is a group size should be small and the class here should be mark and lift two so we get the space between this group and the input group and then we create a b form input and this input should uh, basically have a value of 100 we just manipulate that and the class should be text right and this too should be class oops we want small too and then we need something whoops no, we don't need that we're going back to the browser and see what happened and you can see we have the save and cancel button here and uh, you can see it's uh, the the corner here is not so smooth so when you put it inside a group that's what i want to to show you when, when you put it inside the toolbar here it's no the buttons should stack together so when i'm putting um, the mark in between then it's look like uh, it should be together but it's not together so let's go back for the editor here and remove the markings here for the right and save it and going back to the browser and, and now you can see we have the save button and we have a cancel button uh, and then we have the input smooth input with the with the marking for the left from the right uh, group here and the next we want to speak about it's uh, if you want to have the, like a drop down buttons inside this one and you can and you can do this too and i will basically just show how you can work with that when you have buttons with the drop down inside the, the button toolbars so let's go back for the editor and in the editor we of course will create a new new case here and uh, we create the button toolbar inside the toolbar we need uh, Need the button group and the button group we need the button and we just say new edit undo and let's say we want a drop down now a drop down button we would just say this one B drop down and then we will just Let's put the class inside and say it's right and text menu and then we will create a drop down item drop down item here and we just call it item one two and three and for the end of it we want a one more button a button group so we can see how it's working together save cancel that's what we want and in this case we want a middle one you can see we have the new edit and undo it, it could be something navigation you want to, to do and uh, mx should be uh, a marking on both right and left that's what we create and then we have a drop down here you can see it's, it's very smooth here and we have this save and cancel so that's a little bit about how you can create a, a button toolbar and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something. 
I'm really happy to teach you. And if you have some questions, please make a comment below in the, in the comments fields. And remember, all the code can be found on my GitHub. The, the links will be in the description below. And I really hope you want to like this video and subscribe. If you don't want, uh, if you don't know how to subscribe, you can go down and press on the thing below in the right corner. Then you will be subscribed for my channel. And then I just want to wish you good luck with the with the new notes you know now. And uh, I really hope to see you next time. And that's for now. And bye bye.